Thanks, guys. Santorin, congratulations. That was such a grueling and intense series against Golden Guardians. So how does it feel and how excited are you to be moving on to semis next week? I'm so happy right now. Um, <laughs> there's no words I can like describe how, how happy I'm right now. <laughs> because... I made it this far for so long, and it just means the world to me. I mean, we heard the FlyQuest chants the entire game, the entire day. You have so many people here who are supporting you and all of your teammates around you, especially after last week, supporting you and holding you up. So what does that mean to you? I just love my team. Like, they're all great players, and I think we were really confident going into these games. Um, we had some big mishaps and drafts, but it, eventually we just like decided to just kind of yolo it by just like flexing Aurelia, and we hadn't really practiced it that much. And I think just like we had a lot of faith in each other, and that's what won us the series. You know, you played out of your mind today as well as the rest of your team. So I want to wish you again congratulations on the win and best of luck moving into semis for next week. So Santorin, please one more round for him because my goodness. So again, congratulations. Thanks, Dash. I am here with Ole after their series. I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to me. And before we start, is there anything that you'd like to say at all about today? Um, today was a really close game. You know, everyone just, I think everyone enjoyed the game, like even FlyQuest or our team. And yeah, I mean, today, just nice day. Yeah. And like you said, it was a very close five game series, grueling series, even with that. But I do want to highlight that Last year, it was back-to-back 10th -back place matches for Golden Guardians, and now this was your first playoff. So, I mean, what was that experience like for you guys coming into today? Uh, I think, uh, like, actually making playoff was actually, like, really, you know, good luck for us. But, yeah, like, we didn't really play well, and I think we were struggling in early weeks. So, I think if we figure out earlier, then maybe we could win it today. But, yeah, I think it... It took so much time for us to uh, know how to play as a team. Well, reflecting back on the spring split, what was the biggest lesson or maybe takeaway that you had that will help prepare you for summer? Mm, I think uh, I'm glad that uh, my Eddie Carey got some playoff experience. And I think we can uh, prepare better as a both you. And the other thing is, I think as a this like organization, like it's our first uh, playoff. So... I, I think our management also learned like how to prepare better. So I think summer will be absolutely great. Well, Ole, thank you so much for taking the time. Well, before we wrap up the day, Avali is standing by with our player of the series. Thanks, Dash. I am with our player of the series, Poe Belter. Now, in that series, you had two games that were just absolutely disgusting to me, the Swain game and the Zoe game. So what did you think about today and your games against Golden Guardians? Uh, it was really long, very, very long series. I haven't played a five-game series since, like, 2016, so we were all starting to feel a bit tired at the end of it, but I think it was a really good experience for our team, having a lot of rookies and players that aren't, like, experienced in this high-pressure playoff situation to then get that experience, and I think gradually over the series, we were able to, like, thaw out a little bit and uh, be able to adjust to the pressure, so that's what I'm most thankful for. So now that you guys have that stage experience, especially important for top laner and rookie Viper, do you think your performance will be even elevated come next week for semifinals? Yeah, that's the hope. I think we don't know who we're going to play yet, right? Because they get to choose. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully TL picks us. Oh, so you want them to pick you? Yeah. Awesome. So is it going to be like a straight wipe again? or? Um, well, I wouldn't really call today a straight wipe. I mean, it's 3-2 really, really close. But I think we have what it takes to beat them. And yeah. It's going to be really satisfying if we can beat them. That would be satisfying to watch as well. But Poe Belter, thank you. And congratulations again on both players on the series and the win for today. That's it for us here. Back to you guys. Dude, he wants revenge. He, he wants to take the MTL, right? <laughs> I hope so. What